What's going on everybody? My name is Jake with Code 4 Defense and today we're here in the shop taking a look at the Generation 2 of the NVB 58 bridge. I'm going to go over two of the major features that we've uh, added in the Generation 2 and show you how to implement them so you don't have any troubles getting started with your new with your new unit. The first major thing that we added was an IPD stop and you can see right here there is a little nub that sticks off the main bridge itself and that interfaces with this arm that attaches to the um, to the arm of the device and so when this attaches or when this contacts that it gives you the signal to stop turning so the way to set this is to loosen the tensioning screw here at the front so that it's nice and loose so the arm free flows pull this ipd stop all the way up put just a small amount of tension enough that the that the night vision device when mounted won't fall out of the way do the same thing on this side, loosen the loosen the tensioning screw, move the IPD stop all the way up, put just a small amount of tension on that. Then you're going to mount your device, uh, your devices into the unit and looking in a dark environment or with the daytime caps on, you just rotate the arm until it comes into your center line view and then you stop. Then you're going to add tension to the arm, pull the arm up out of the way and now when you go to when you go to articulate the arm down, it's going to meet that resistance and it's just going to stop in place. Now, it's very important to not try and adjust the IPD stops with the tension fully on. These arms are pretty robust, but if you really crank on it, I'm sure that you could break it if you tried really hard. So always adjust the IPD stops with the tensioning arm loose and then put it into place and then tension nice and tight. And once it hits that, it's going to stop nicely. Same thing on this side, just move it down into your line of sight tension the arm down, and then when you articulate it back down, it's going to stop nicely. The second major feature that we added is a retention device for the mounting screw for the PVS-14 itself, so that when you unscrew it from your PVS-14, you don't have to worry about the mounting screw falling out. And the only side that's tricky, and this is the same thing for the NVA-14, is this side right here. So there's a nice curve here, and that's actually to put spring tension on the arm itself so that it doesn't um, wobble inside of the unit when it's installed. But the way to do this is to put some tension. So you put the screw into the hole, put some tension on the arm itself, and then just start to screw down. And it's just going to seat itself onto the device nicely. And you can see what I'm talking about when you articulate the arm, if there's slop in that, it's going to come away from the device. With that spring tension, it keeps the device nice and close to the bridge itself. When you go to unmount it, just put a little bit of pressure up and then unscrew. And the device will fall free and your um, mounting screw will be retained. So those are the two main upgrades from the version or the Generation 2 of the NBB58. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. You guys stay safe, and we'll see you on the next one.